This is my favorite homemade ramen recipe. So we're not using a package, but if we were, I would be using this. This is my favorite store-bought ramen. Even then, I still don't use the full seasonings. So we're gonna start with just some plain ramen noodles. You're welcome to use the ones from the package if you like. We're also going to add some bouillon to this. This is the one that I'm using. Use whichever one you like. And then we're going to add in a whole sliced onion. This is a little baby onion, but we're making our broth here, so it's gonna cook down nicely. I'm gonna go in with two cups of sliced mushrooms and a cup of carrots. Well, this is literally just one large carrot that's sliced up. Then we're gonna go in with whatever frozen veggie you like. I'm gonna go in with some broccoli, about a cup of frozen broccoli. And we're just gonna let this cook for a little bit until that starts to get soft. I'm also gonna add in some kimchi juice, about two tablespoons, a tablespoon of yondu. Yondu is my favorite all-purpose seasoning and it's always linked on my Amazon storefront. Two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Make sure you get a vegan one because some of them have fish or like shrimp sauce in them, whatever. So gonna mix that in as well. And we're going to stir that around. Just make sure everything's good to go. And then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of sesame oil for this whole thing. This is optional, but I do think it really gives it a nice boost of flavor. I'm gonna also add in a third of a cup of peas and corn. Both of these are frozen. You can add whatever veggies you like. I do like to make sure that this is a veggie packed noodle bowl because I don't typically eat no um, bleh, bleh. I don't typically eat noodles on the side with this. Then we're gonna add in some soy sauce. I use a quarter cup here. This is for two people. And by the way, I am using about five cups of water. That is a lot of soy sauce. If you want less sodium, use less soy sauce or use low sodium soy sauce. So we're just gonna mix that all together. Once it's boiling, we're gonna add in our noodles. You're gonna cook these to your liking. I like to cook mine for about seven minutes because I like my ramen noodles really soft, but you cook your noodles however long you want. So just gonna cook those, make sure they're stirred around um, like once or twice, and then when it's cooked, I'm gonna add some additional toppings to plate this. I'm gonna add in some green onions that have sliced up, and I'm also gonna add in quite a bit of chopped up kimchi. You don't wanna add the kimchi when it's cooking because it ruins all the probiotics in it. So I like mine a little spicy, a lot of kimchi, and then a few sliced jalapenos. You can eat these or not, but when it gets into that warm liquid, it really makes it spicier and delicious. And then I top mine with a heck of a lot of lime juice. I mean, I use like the juice of a whole lime. Um, that's just my preference. And those are my toppings and you can add anything you want really, but this is my ramen recipe and it never fails me. Hope you give it a try.